I'm going to start with the white and just before I do that too, remember the piece of paper, must have that, get that so your hand doesn't rest on the picture. I'm going to take some of this off of my pencil work that I've done. Um, it will interfere with the pastel. Now I don't, want to, I don't want to rub too much off, I just want to rub just enough so that I can see where I'm going. Just along there would be a good idea in case I decide to do the top of the head too. You, you could just you can just see the lines now. I think that's that's fine. You can see the difference in weight. Okay, let's start with the white. Now the white's gonna go on as usual. It's nice and solid. It comes all the way around here. And picture up a bit into there. I think this is as far as we want to take it at the moment. Right, well you can leave that to me. I'm going to fill it all in. I'll just do the outline so you know what I'm going to be doing. Like that. And then I shall also follow it round and I'll probably come into here just a little bit. I don't want to drop down as far as the eye. And, and again, the top of the head. There's mostly grey up here, but I shall put a base colour of white in to start with. All right, so let me complete this section with the white, and then we'll move into the next tone, which will be the uh, one, no, 270. Is it? No, it's not. I beg your pardon. It's, um, I decided. Now, that's interesting. Why did I choose 230 and 233 as opposed to... 270, which I first originally thought I would be using, or and to um, 73. Well, the reason I did that is because I wanted to. I looked at particularly looked at the nose, and I thought this needs a bluey hue. Then I saw a bluey hue on the picture, and so therefore I decided to go back to uh, 230 and 233. It doesn't make an appreciable difference, it's just a tone, that's all. And if you're going to put the 181, which I'm going to put in the nose particularly, and probably around the eye, then I shall need really the bluey greys. So that's the reason, folks, I've got that. Anyway, the next colour I shall use then will be the 230. Now the 230. The 230 then can be taken right up into the edge of the white area I put in and then it comes down into here. There's a, a distinct difference between here and here which we, when we use the next colour which will be 233 three, it will be more obvious but that's a nice base there. Now here this is very very dark so I, I don't want the uh, 230 in here but I do want it in here that can then be set against that white. Again, there's, there's a, a distinct difference there. It doesn't here it moulds in, but here there's a distinct line. So I'm going to follow that and it's through here. And this is dark again, but it's dark and light, so I'm still going to put the 230 in it. And here we have a kind of a link up here between. I didn't put quite so strong an application of white here, which allowed the 230 to register. Is it lovely? Oh, no, that's lovely. Now, we've now got to put the 230 in here. And then we use the 233. And this is a very distinct difference between these two. And the hair, the white hair, travels up into that. So you might as well start the ball rolling there by putting... And we can put the white hair back, the white hair back in again. But really... It's um, a nice idea just to set, 
It's not a little roaming. Now here it's very dark. And again, we've got some hairs that come up. And in here, and the bit I was telling you about, again, it's quite dark there. But we've got some light hairs coming in as well. Mixture of bits and pieces. So you kind of You've got a little bit of artistic license anyway. I don't have to follow the picture exactly, but it's nice to follow all the indications. Now there's going to be a, a very dark 181 in here in a minute. And we'll be mindful of that. That's more or less the design that I was looking for. And here it's solid. I uh, might as well show you all of this. It's not worth keep breaking off when I've only got a small area. Now, although I'm making coverage quite strong here, I'm not pressing too hard. I'm using the side of the point of the pencil because we've got two other colours to put in here yet. Or three, in fact, because I'm going to add another tone in a minute. Now, in here, this is where we can use the 233 over the top of the lighter grey just to make it just a little bit stronger and just about here is where we have the transition between the light and dark and we can bring that into it. It's better on these sort of mid-tone colours to, to set the, the pattern for the dark colours coming in later gives you a better idea of what's going on. And these are obviously hairs in the air, so we can follow the idea of that. I see how nice that is. Right. Um, I will blow it off. I was just thinking, do we need to? Yes, I think we probably do. And we need to just make this just a little more interesting at the top. But you can see there's an obvious hair design there. Okay, now the, the colour I was going to mention to you, uh, uh, we're going to put 181 in in a sec, but I want to add another colour. Now, I, I can see this in the fur. This is 169. It's quite a strong colour here. You don't want too much of it, but you want just an influence of it. So I'm just going to put a little influence in the hair. When we blend this in a minute, most of that will disappear. It's just a colour, and you'll see me using it virtually all over. It's... Uh, you can see the, the influence of the colour. Okay, 181. 181. Same idea again, keep the side of the pencil. Follow the pattern that you've already created here with your mid-tone to colours. That's where we'll have the transition between the light and the dark. And so we'll have black in here as well. These are very striking animals, and of course it's the light and dark side of it that really makes them really attractive. Now this is where we've got to be just as mindful of the fact that we've got those hairs coming in. And as I said, we can bring the white back, but the better, the more you can prepare the way, the better it will be. Now you see that looks pretty good, so we can, we know that when we bring the white back, we're going to be able to re-establish that. And here we've got just a little more. Done. At this stage, if you can, if you can see what you're looking for and think, yes, I like that, then you're well on your way to succeeding in this particular a lot of colour has got to be put into here yet, a lot of tone. Now that is really dark, isn't it? I don't think we want too much here, maybe just a little smidgen of depth. But here we do, we're going to bring in drag this into. There we are. Okay. Now, First time we're going to use the colour shaper. I'm going to use the grey colour shaper here. 
if you've got the other chisel ended one you can use the corner or if you've got the ivory one you can use that but really it's better to use the grey simply because it's a little firmer when you're using very dark colours like this now, I won't be talking very much while I'm doing this this I love doing this I really enjoy this kind of thing it's, it's, I like the challenge of it anyway. Now, this is where we can also use the colour that we picked up on this to bring some of the tones in. This is what I was talking about when I said we could bring some of the tones, make it just a little more interesting. And when you've got the what effectively is a palette here, you can use that. Carry on a little bit longer. Now we've got a mixture of colour in here. We've got the, the greys and we've also got the 169. You remember that colour we put in? Well, that's there. We can use that too. That's really nice. I even think we can go just a bit further than that because this was solid white we this is a fairly new idea we bought in but you can see how effective it is Still got the black to come. All right. Lovely. Now that's really good. Where's the black? Here we are. Now this is really solid in here, so the black can go in. You only need to do it until about there. And then when we bring the shaper in a minute, we can extend it. Just got the odd strong black hair that extends. Right. Sometimes that dust can actually be in the way. Uh, I like to use it, but if it obscures what I'm trying to do, it doesn't work out very well for me. That looks really good. Now, we've got to think about a little bit more white going back into this. So let's prepare the way for that. You know, it's really, really attractive. I hope you like this. And the way I've done it, it's really, really nice. Now, what I've got to do now is to work the. I'm going to sharpen the white up 
and then we'll bring the white back in a little bit and we'll finish this off. But I think that looks pretty good. I've brought you nice and close now so you can see how this works. So let's start off here. You seem to do this lots and lots of times before. It's when you have a nice sharp pencil and you just bring it over the top of the areas that you've just put in. See how nice that is. Just here we need it just to uh, just get a bit of a broken line there. I know I said I wanted a transition to be a little bit stronger but it's quite attractive if you can get little details like this in as well. Okay, then it comes down there. And then I've already gone over here with the uh, colour shaper. So we just need that to be just a little stronger. And again you can use a little bit of license on this. And down there. That's as far as I've got. Just in here. See the advantage of preparing the way? That's dark there. And in here, now this is the area that I was talking about. Now here we've got to bring the white back. Now obviously I've done this at the end because it's going to pick up quite a lot of dark colour. So what we're doing now is bring it back in. I don't know whether I've done this before or ever. But it looks really nice and those darker little lines are showing up more. So the more interesting you can make this, the nicer the picture's gonna be. Now there's another line. Of hairs that come up here, and then it tails off. There you go. Now, I don't think I need to do any more, I think that looks pretty good to me.